Hey guys, this is an animation tutorial on how to animate with Sony Vegas 11 Platinum HD. Yay! Um, first off, you're going to want to start off with a sketch. Well, um, I would recommend starting out with a sketch. Um, it makes animating easier. Some people prefer to do all the sketched frames and then inking them all, which is drawing out the line art. But I prefer to start with the sketch and then work with the line art and animating the line art instead, but you can do whichever one you feel comfortable with. Um, after you have your sketch, you're going to want to do your first line art, which as you can see I'm trying to get his snout to look right, but it is not turning out so. But this will be the original frame for what we start out with. You're going to want to use the opacity of the layers a lot. Um, to differentiate between sketch and old frame, new frame, which you'll see in a minute. <laughs> this is going to animate just... I'm going to try and get his mouth open, his eyes to kind of glare and his ears to fold back. Um, in this case, for this particular animation, I won't be reanimating his whole body, just his mouth, his eyes, and his ears, and his whiskers. His body is going to stay still, his head is going to stay still. Okay, here we go. Um, as you're animating the line art, you're going to want the opacity to be lower for each new layer you make. And I screwed up on doing the voice thing there, so I restarted it. But um, So you can differentiate between old and new layer. You're going to make a new layer, and you're going to turn the opacity down of the old layer, and do the new layer um, at 100% so you can see better. It's, it's just easier that way. Um, you can see I got rid of the sketch because I don't need it at this point. Um, when you first start out, when you're doing um, an animation, you're going to start with a very subtle, gradual change. Like, I'm doing this dot thing, I'm talking to myself because I've screwed up on doing the recording. But you're going to start with, it's going to get gradually bigger, and then it's going to be a really quick change, and then it's going to gradually go back to what you originally had. So it's going to be very similar. <laughs> Well, depending. If it's a loop, then it's going to be like that. But if it's not, then it's just going to be subtle, 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 big change, subtle. Um, see, it's a, that's a little less subtle than I would like it to be, but A, it works. Um, and then you see this is a, a little more subtle, um, these lines right here, which is good because... Um, if you're going to have a fairly slow animation, you're going to want to use more frames. If it's a fast animation, then you can use less frames, but since this is going to be a fairly slow animation, um, I would recommend more frames, because more frames, the smoother it's going to be. Um, um, if you're going to animate, I, I would recommend not u um, using the preference where the pressure of your brush or your pen on your tablet affects the size of the brush because then it'll be inconsistent. In this case I kind of screwed up on that because I did click that preference and the lines change. If you want to do that you go for it and there are some people who are really really talented in using that method but I prefer not to which is just my opinion. You can do it however you would like to. And see how it's getting more and more gradual Doing his teeth, doing his teeth. <laughs> See, that's a more of a quicker change because the lines are farther apart. Um, whenever you are animating, you want the lines to compensate. If one, if you say you have a square and you move the square to the left, you're not stretching it. You're just moving it, then one line, but the lines are going to move the same distance. They're not going to, one line's going to move farther than the other because then it's going to look like a rubber square. If you want the square to be more solid and consistent, you want all the lines to move in the same direction and be equal in distance that they make. See, this is a whole lot more quick, quicker change. 
this is that um, big change I was telling you about. I realized I was being inconsistent with his chin, so I went back and fixed that. Consistency is a huge part of animating. Um, you want to make sure all your lines are consistent and they all fit together properly, or else the motion is going to look weird. <laughs> Alright, now I have all the frames drawn out, and everything's good to go for um, saving and everything. Gotta make the opacity full because then it'll look like the lines are fading in and out as he moves, and you don't want that. You want them all to be the same um, opacity. I'd recommend making a new folder for the, any particular animation or group of animations that you plan on making, or else you will lose the frames. Well, you won't, you may or may not, depending on who you are, but I know I sure did lose a lot of frames by not keeping organized um, when I first started animating a couple years back. <laughs> So I made a new folder, named it test, and I keep the files in there. I save them under JPEG file, because in my opinion that's one of the better qualities of um, pictures you can use in Vegas. And you see here, since I'm not animating his full body, I can erase the pieces of layers that I will be replacing with other sketches. Um, like layer 2, la layer 3 only has pieces that will be fitting into the rest of the line art of layer 2, which is the first layer. And then you save it, and you keep saving these frames as you switch out the line art. Now in some cases you would be erasing the whole thing um, and redrawing the line art completely, but don't erase the original line art because that's what you're going to work off of to make the motion as smooth as possible. Sorry, I'm, I'm having allergy problems. You're going to keep on saving the frames, keep on saving the frames. It's boring stuff. Probably going to skip this part. And while I do that, I will save them as like T1, T2, T3, so that way we can keep up the order and they go. Alright, now to the Vegas part of this tutorial. Again, I messed up on the recording the voice thing, so I will be turning, deleting that. Um, go down to the folder. Each time you create a new folder outside of Vegas, you need to refresh it using the refresh button, which is a blue, blue button with two arrows going in a circle on it, and then it should be there again. All your frames should be under there in the JPEG file, which should be the proper format to use with Vegas. Before you start putting all the pictures down there, you're going to want to go to let me find it. Options, preferences, editing, still image, and you're going to want to put it I use 0 0.125 and that's a good starting size, but you're going to want to edit the size so the motion looks smooth. Just as you can use in Windows Movie Maker, you can use shift to select multiple frames at once. But be wary in Vegas, the frames tend to scatter themselves in the wrong order, and you have to put them back in the same order again, as I have to do here, and figure out which frame is which, and wh where it goes where. If I, like, the shift thing can be helpful, but then it could be a curse, because it, told, it can also really scatter the animations in the wrong order. So you can see, there we have it the animation, but as you see it's kind of choppy because all of the pictures are in the same are the same length. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the edge of the picture. You should have your normal edit tool and you can click and drag. And as I said you're gonna have the first couple frames are going to be longer than the middle frames are always going to be shorter. And then they'll gradually get bigger again like so. Ta-da! Now you don't always have to edit the length of the pictures, but I do because it helps me get a smoother outcome in my animations. And then when you're done, you go to render as. Give it a second to load. I don't know why, but it kind of screws up here. I don't know what it was doing. It was kind of weird. It was kind of freaking me out because it would like flash the picture. There we go. 
um, use WMV format or the Windows Media format. Um, 720 to 1080 are the high definitions, which is the ones I use for my videos. And that is all for as far as animating in Sony Vegas. If there is something that I did not cover or you would like me to do one where it's a colored animation, I will gladly do that for you. But as of right now, I only had time to make this really short kind of crappy animation tutorial. But I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, comment below. Um, I am still working on Altered Episode 1, which will be out very soon. Um, subscribe if you want more. Message me if I forgot anything. Alright. Bye.